Hello everyone and welcome back to The Breakdown. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to run Minecraft 1.16.3 fast with absolutely no lag. We're going to be going over every single step and showing you how to set up Minecraft using Optifine in order to stop lag. We're going to be going over all of it in this video. Now, you might be like, Optifine? I, I don't I don't want to know how to use Optifine. Optifine's a mod. Wouldn't it just lag more? No, it is not. Optifine is not going to make you lag more. If you set it up like we're going to set it up in this video, it's going to help you gain so much FPS. It's going to be overwhelming. You're going to see that happen in this video. We're also going to be showing you some of the basic basic stuff, you know, to configure your, like, launcher from the start, so anyway, you want to go through that. However, what about Optifine? What do I saying get Optifine? Well, in the description down below, you can find this. This is our in-depth tutorial for Minecraft 1.16.3 with Optifine. It's helped over 2.3 million people set up Optifine, and it is for sure to help you as well. Go through this tutorial, get Optifine set up, and then once you've got Optifine set up, come back to this video. It's going to show you everything you need to know in this video to set up Optifine to stop lag, whereas this video right here is going to show you how to get Optifine. Now, we also have an in-depth guide on adding more RAM to Minecraft. I'm going to link that in the description down below, but we're also going to show you how to add RAM in this video, but if for whatever reason you can't add a decent amount of RAM to Minecraft or you wonder how much RAM you need to add to Minecraft, that is all discussed in this video. That's why we have an eight-minute video on RAM for Minecraft because that is where it's all discussed and all covered because, yeah, pretty much that's that, right? That's where you need to go for that. But First and foremost, we do have some more sponsor, which is Apex Minecraft hosting. Go to the first link down below, thebreakdown.xyz slash Apex to start an incredible 24-hour DNOS protected Minecraft server for you and your friends. We actually love Apex so much that we host our own server, play.breakdowncraft.com on them. So if you want to start your very own Minecraft server, check out Apex at the first link down below, thebreakdown.xyz slash Apex to start an incredible Minecraft server for you and your friends. It's going to just be super easy to manage. They have 24-hour support at Apex, and it'll be super easy to set up as well because it's just one-click setup over there. So go check out Apex, first link down below, thebreakdown.xyz slash Apex. But nonetheless, let's go ahead and make a Minecraft setup for less lag. So let's go ahead and minimize our browser. Now, the first thing you want to do is select your Optifine profile. Now, if you follow through our tutorial, you should already have an Optifine profile set up. And you can select that by clicking the green play button in the bottom left and clicking on Optifine there. However, if you click on installations up here at the top, you can go ahead and click the three dots over here, the right of Optifine, and click on edit. And then you want to click on more options here. And when you click on that, you'll be able to see this, XMX2G. Basically, Minecraft has two gigs of RAM dedicated to it. We're going to go ahead and up that to four gigabytes of RAM. That's the most I would recommend for most people. You're not going to need more than four gigs of RAM for Minecraft unless you're running mods on it. However, if for whatever reason Minecraft starts glitching out, it cannot open after doing this, come back in here and change this back to 2G, and then you should be good to go. However, I will say that um, if you can't add more than four gigs of RAM to Minecraft, go check out our video on RAM, linked in the description down below that showed you at the beginning of the tutorial, because that goes more in depth with it. And let's go ahead and click on this green save button, and and then we can go ahead and launch the Optifine profile. You can just click play here if you want, or you can come back over here and select it with the little drop down box. Boom, then click play. But now Minecraft's gonna open up. I will see you after a quick jump cut once Minecraft is open with Optifine. So here we are in the Minecraft main menu. And as you can see, it says modded down there that shows kind of Optifine's installed. But the best way to see Optifine's installed is clicking on options and then going into video settings. And yes, there's all the Optifine settings. So now once you're in here in video settings, it's time to go ahead and set up Optifine for less lag. But before we do that, let's go ahead and see what our FPS is right now. So let's go ahead and click done, click done again, and then we want to go ahead and I'm going to jump into multiplayer, and I'm going to use play.breakdowncraft.com, that's our Minecraft server. It's absolutely incredible. I'm going to use this server right here as kind of like our baseline, right? We're going to figure out what our baseline is for, uh, you know, Optifine and, and for what our FPS is. Now, what I want you all to do is write down your FPS before and then write down your FPS after. And at the end of the video, I'm going to remind you to comment in the description down below or in the comment section down below what your FPS was before and what your FPS is after to see how much improvement that you had. Now, you may be wondering, how do you see your FPS? Well, the easiest way is to actually hit escape, click on options, go into video settings, and then click on other here. Then you'll show FPS. So click on show FPS here and turn that on. Then in the top left, of Minecraft up here, you'll see your FPS appearing. Now it's gonna be two numbers. You're gonna have a high number and a low number, and it's not gonna be exact, but yeah, it's gonna be there. And I'm gonna write down two numbers. So I'm seeing the highest number here would probably be 310 on the left, and then on the right-hand side, I'm gonna say, what, 170, something like that. Yeah, we'll do like 175. So we'll say our FPS is 310 over 175 when we're kind of getting started here. We're going to see what it is after, you know, things are done. When we're moving around, it jumps down into like the 250 to 100 range. So we'll do 250 and 100 on the low end when moving around there. So yeah, I've wrote those numbers down. I'll see what ours improves to after, but write yours down in the description, and then we'll see what yours improves to after as well. I always say description. I mean comment section. But nevertheless, let's go ahead and now hit escape, disconnect, and we can do this from the main menu. So click on options here, and then you want to go ahead and click on video settings. Now, I'm going to assume you can't play Minecraft at all. Like, at all. Like, you cannot play Minecraft 
one bit. And if that's the case, this is going to be for you. I would recommend going through and doing everything I do here and then coming back and tweaking settings. Let's say you can run on, you know, fancy graphics with a higher render distance, like an 18 chunk render distance. That's awesome. But not everyone can do that. So I'm assuming you basically have a potato as a computer here and you're going to be able to play Minecraft with that. So let's go ahead and turn our render distance down all the way. Let's go ahead and turn graphics on fancy. Smooth lighting needs to be turned off. Frame rate needs to be on unlimited. Smooth lighting level needs to be off. View bobbing doesn't really affect performance. I personally like it off though. GUI scale, technically GUI scale one right here is what the best GUI scale is going to be. But uh, we are creating a video after all and you can't see that whatsoever. So we're going to make it a bit larger there at GUI scale three. Entity shadows is going to be turned off. Brightness, that doesn't affect performance much. I always like it all the way bright. Attack indicator doesn't affect performance much or really at all. So you can kind of select whatever you want. Do you want one? Do you not want one? So on and so forth. And then dynamic lights needs to be off. Dynamic FOV needs to be off. Shaders, you can go ahead and click on that. And yes, any shaders you have need to be turned off. Shaders kill performance. Just kill it. So if you do not, if you want shaders, you need to have a pretty decent computer. Most likely if you have shaders on, that's why your lag is happening. Now that you've turned shaders off, go see if it's lagging still because it's probably not. But nevertheless, let's go ahead and after you've disabled your shaders, click on quality. Everything in here needs to be all the way to the left, turned off, or it needs to be on fast. So we're going to turn all that off. Mitmap levels turned off. Mitmap type nearest. It doesn't matter. Antiscopic filtering needs to be off. Immersive textures needs to be off. Some of this stuff does require a yellow back like that, by the way. Some of it doesn't. Off, off, better grass needs to be off. Custom fonts needs to be off. So on and so forth. Everything on this page needs to be turned on off. Pretty much. Like that's that's kind of how that's kind of how it's gonna work. I'm gonna go through everything here and just run through it and show you what it's gonna look like after the end, after it's reloaded everything. I miss the days when it wouldn't always reload, but nevertheless, you get the point. There we go. Boom. So that's kind of how it should be. Every single thing on this page should be off except for myth map type, which needs to be nearest, right? That's that. So nearest, it needs to be what the myth map type needs to be. Everything else needs to be off. Then you click done. Now we go over here to details, I believe. Yes. And we want to go ahead and turn clouds off, cloud height off, trees. We're going to go ahead and turn those on fast. Then we're going to do rain and snow off, sky off, stars off, show capes off, sun and moon off, fog off, and then fog start needs to be 0.2. Translucent blocks needs to be fast. Held item tooltips, that doesn't affect performance, believe it or not. You can leave that one on. Fancy items needs to, or dropped items, excuse me. Dropped items needs to be fast. Swamp colors needs to be off. Vignette needs to be fast. And alternative blocks need to be off. Entity distance needs to be turned down to 50%. And biome blend needs to be turned all the way to the left, also known as off. So there you have it. That's what that needs to be. Everything here needs to be off except for trees so that need to be fast. Translucent blocks that need to be fast. Dropped items need to be fast. Vignette needs to be fast. And then held item tooltips doesn't really matter. It can be on if you want or off. Then we go ahead and click done there. That's detail settings. Performance, this one's kind of fun. So render regions needs to be turned on. Fast render needs to be turned on. Smart animations, guess what? Needs to be turned on. Fast math needs to be turned on usually if you have a decent CPU. However, if you have a really bad CPU, you might want to leave that off. Most people though need to turn that on. Smooth FPS needs to be turned on. Smooth world needs to be turned on. Chunk updates needs to be set to one there. Sorry, I forgot about that one. I'm not going to lie. I forgot about that one. I had to read that. But nevertheless, go ahead and set that one to one. Dynamic updates needs to be on. Lazy chunk loading needs to be on. Now, I am actually going to turn off smooth FPS here. I would recommend you do that as well if you want to get as much FPS as you possibly can. However, if you're noticing lag spikes even after doing this, come here and turn smooth FPS on because that may smooth out your FPS and thus stop that lag. But for me, I'm going to turn it off. Then we go ahead and click done here. And now we want to go over to animations. This one's the easiest one to do because you just click all off this all off button right here and you're done. You then go ahead and click done there and we can go into other. Now, most of this isn't going to affect performance too much. However, I would say full screen mode, turn it off. Technically, the smaller your Minecraft window, the better. Lagometer, that can be turned on if you want, but doesn't need to be turned on really. Show GL errors. If you're getting a spamming GL error in chat, you can turn that off. Uh, and it basically will not show those. However, I'm going to leave mine on. And then you have all the other settings. Now, one of the things here, whether if you're on single player and it like rain or every time it rains, you get lag, you can turn that off, but it's not going to affect servers. However, the auto save on your single player worlds, if you're noticing lag, like choppy lag, like every few seconds, that's probably going to be the auto save because by default, the auto save is, I believe, 45 seconds. And so every 45 seconds, every minute or so, if you're lagging, that's going to be your auto save. However, you have to be careful here because if you go up to six minutes and you lose your Minecraft world, Minecraft crashes, your computer dies, something like that, you could lose up to that amount of time in Minecraft. So six minutes I can deal with. I could even deal with up to 12 minutes of loss in Minecraft. But some of these like 
24 minutes, no way I could deal with losing 24 minutes of work in Minecraft. So I'd recommend putting about six minutes. I can deal with a lag spike every six minutes. So that's okay. Now we can go ahead and click done there. And guess what? Optifine is set up. It's that simple. Now we're not completely done. I want to look at resource packs as well. Now in here, I have the programmer art resource pack added just as an example. But nevertheless, the resource packs here, you want to make sure that they're all turned off and that only the default resource pack is selected. Now some resource packs do argue that they will improve performance. Rarely is that the case. There might be one or two that might have an extra FPS or two. It's it's not going to be crazy. Running default Minecraft is going to be your best bet when it comes to resource packs. So go ahead, disable, turn off any resource packs that you have enabled, and then you'll be good to go, and we'll be good to test. So now let's go ahead and jump into multiplayer on playdownbreakdowncraft.com. Now, on our front end, we did have some numbers there, and our front end numbers were 310 over 175. Now, we've not squeaked out too much extra FPS here. That's because our computer, to be truthful, is decent and honestly can kind of run this stuff without any problems. But we're, uh, we are pushing like 390s there on the high end, it looked like. So we're standing still. Let's see what we can get up to. Wait for it. 340, it looks like it's where it's stabilized, somewhere around there. So we'll go ahead and say we improved to 340 over. What is that bottom number? Let's see where that's stabilizing at. It looks like kind of in the 170s. So the bottom number didn't check too much or change too much, but the top number did. And then when we're moving around, let's see what, what happens when we move around here. Our FPS before was in the 250 when we were moving around. And yes, now when we're moving around, it's actually going up. So as you can see, our FPS when we're moving around is 500. And then on the low end is going to be in the 200s, which is like 225. So pretty crazy stuff there. We didn't see much performance increase when we're standing still. But when we're moving around, we saw a ton. Why is that? Well, I'll show you the setting that's doing it. If we go into video settings here and then we go into performance, we'll be able to see it's going to be dynamic updates. Sorry if that jump code was a little weird. I apologize to... The editor there, that was a little weird. I went to the wrong thing. I thought it was going to be Smooth World, but it wasn't. It's, it's dynamic updates. But as you can see, dynamic updates forces more chunks to update while the player is standing still to load the world faster. So while we're standing still, yeah, it's going to be using about the same amount of FPS because it's loading the chunks around us. However, when we're moving, it's going to stop loading chunks and we're going to see our FPS go up, which is exactly what we're seeing here. We're getting over double the FPS we were getting whenever we were standing or moving around before versus now. However, standing still, it's only up a couple percentage or a couple FPS points because it's loading chunks while we're standing still and stand of instead of while we're moving. Meaning your playing experience is going to be a lot more smooth than it was before. It's going to have less lag and things like that when you're moving around. So 10 out of 10 there works exactly as it should because of that little bitty setting there known as dynamic updates. So awesome stuff. Thank you all so, so much for watching. Come play with us on this awesome Minecraft server, playdownbreakdowncraft.com. Right now we're in Medieval Survival. We have incredible 1.16.3 survival here on Medieval with 30 custom quests. It's a player-based economy. We've also got Aquatic Survival with a slash shop-based economy, and we've got custom skyblock, custom factions. It's a great place to test your FPS, so come play with us. Playdownbreakdowncraft.com is the IP. Right there it is. I cannot wait to see you online, but thank you all so, so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel for more awesome content every single day of the week. But anyway, this has been a very long outro, and I'm out. Peace.